Hails from Pipiria! Episode 8, Dragon Slayer. Previously on Tales from Tetheria, after defeating the kobold encampment, the bounty hunters stopped to rest in the mountains. They found an alcove that would offer them shelter. Unfortunately, this alcove was home to a shape-shifting green dragon, who Deborah then hit with a rock grub pot. The dragon was, understandably, upset about this, and, and now we have to fight a dragon. All right, you're all caught up. Today's video is brought to you by Free Fire. Now, Free Fire is the free-to-play mobile battle royale game. You just download it to your phone or mobile device, and you start playing. You start killing people. And right now, they've got their dynamic duo badges happening. You basically, you find someone you like, a friend, a special someone, you give them the dynamic duo badge, and you become the dynamic duo. And then you start putting the hurt down on all those other teams out there, those inferior teams. Except, of course, for me and whoever I'm playing with, because we will beat you. We will, of course, beat you. So get out there. There's a link in the description. Download it right now. It's free, as I mentioned, so you got nothing to lose. Try it out. See for yourself if you like it. All right, and now back into the video. There's a lot of moving parts. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, so we take a take a shot at the dragon here. Oh, that's a, uh, that's a nine. Nope, nine ain't all gonna right. do it. Yeah, well, I mean, I there's modifiers, but yeah, probably not. So I throw the axe, and with his wings, he kind of like just gusts it away. I'm like, yeah. okay. Is, it is, is a dragon. <laughs> Fair that enough. Wasn't very <laughs> nice of you. Has anyone else tried to attack the my guy, the necromancer? Oh yeah, there have been a couple of hits on the necromancer already. Who else attacked the necromancer besides me? Mari. I did. Mari beat he's the shit out. out of his head. Yeah, Mari punched him in he's, the mouth. He's not the I fuck think out. she used both fists. She Wait. went like this to his head. Yeah, he both smashed temples him. with both hands. Yeah. She almost uh, raped uh. him. <laughs> He's not dead though. Him. He might Squish be a little brains. bit more dumb. Oh wait, I'm well, not dead. <laughs> I have I have two weapon fighting. Could I do this? Could I could I unhook the axe from him and then drop the five feet and then try and whip him again? Uh make a strength check. Okay. To try to pull the axe out. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, that fell off. Uh 14 plus my strength is plus five, 19. Yep. You're able to do that, pull it out, and then okay, make so another I, attack. So I drop five feet, and I wind up the whip axe again. Aha! This time, an 18! Nice. Nice. 18 wow. will, will hit. Sweet! Uh, so I, I wind up, and I whip him again. This time, I don't want to sink it into him. I just okay. want to just kind of whip him and, and catch him, gash him along his underbelly. So two plus three. Five. Five damage? Yeah. Excellent. Uh, it is Fight now this a dragon lair. myself! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's now going to be a lair action because you f you're fighting a dragon wormling in its lair. Right, yes. Um, smart. <laughs> yeah, very, very smart. Um, it is going to... Uh, so it's going to billow magical fog. Mm. around one creature that the dragon can see within 120 feet of you. Mm -hmm. It's going to do it around... I guess it's going to do it around Krulax. Since Damn that's it! the one that's mostly <laughs> making the... Um, <laughs> making themselves known. Go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Oh, do you have much wisdom? Uh, I don't know. I just rolled an 18, though. Oh. Plus one. Nice. 19. Yeah, 19. That'll save. You are not. Wow. You are not charmed by the dragon. Sweet. Uh, so that I is resist your dragonly no charms. On you. You're very mm. pretty, but I only like you in a platonic way, dragon. <laughs> I only, I oh, only do you love him to... in a draconic way? <laughs> a draconic, yeah. I was it's a strictly draconic to... relationship. I was huh? only trying to share my delicious bacon and coffee, and aromatic aromas of the delicious tea. Liar is all poison! It's not, I mean, I know I'm a green dragon and all, but it's not all poisoned. Uh, I shot just while struggling on top of a guy. <laughs> I 100% believe you, uh, you are a kind dragon. Thank you for your hospitality. And I'm gonna, you're not attacking me, so I see no reason to attack you. It's all of your friends that are pissing me off. They need oh. to die. <laughs> 
Oh, that <laughs> sucks to be my friend right now, doesn't it? <laughs> Great. <laughs> you have to have a talk turn. about. <laughs> <laughs> we have to have a talk about uh, Falamir when this is over. Yeah, yeah, we still need to deal with that. Yes, guys, let's talk about this. the guy who got us in a fight with a dragon. Mm -hmm. hey. Oh wait, that was not me. He just you said know, most of the we'll... food was poisoned. Anyway, who's doing? <laughs> yeah, he was doing some shady. He was doing some shady shit. I want mm -hmm. to. Um, can I perception check? I want to see if I can do two things. I want to see how hurt. A uh, uh, bum bitch is, uh -huh. and I also want to know what uh, what's his name, Michael Mikael is uh, Mike. doing in the in the thorns. Mike. Yeah, Mike. I want to know if he's trying sure. to do some shit. Go ahead and just make a perception check. I'll let you. I'll tell. I'll fill you in okay. on what you can see. Mike is that kinda, is it, nineteen. Ooh, nice. Mike is in quite the bed of thorns, but you're able to make out that Mike is sort of gathering up some mystical energy in its hands, mm -hmm. while its feet are broken. Um. And bum bitch, uh, looks pretty hurt. Looks looks not not doing great. Um, how right. are those how are those rotworms doing? Aren't aren't they trying to burrow to his heart? There is one rotworm still like trying to burrow into uh, bum bitch. Is it in one of his eyes? Uh, sure. Yeah, can I pick which one? Sure. <laughs> yeah, his left eye. I feel like he's a lefty. Sure. So how, how many turns does it take for them to burrow in? Uh, it takes one turn for them to burrow in. Oh, okay. Oh, God. After me goes the rotworms, so one on the rotworms' turn. turn yeah. yeah. So it'll burrow in after me. I don't like Mike here. I broke his feet, but he's doing some shady stuff. Um, I know that I'm stuck in the thorns. Yeah. But uh, I want to... I've got a javelin okay. in my bag. <laughs> Great. Can I, uh, am I able to use my fire in a non-attack way and light my javelin on fire? Sure, why not? All right, so I want to light my javelin on fire and then throw it uh, right at Mike's uh, stomach. I want to cool. pierce him right in the abdomen. Great. <laughs> you uh, make an attack roll. Oh boy, I rolled a two. Mm. Oh. Well, the javelin does not hit Mike, but it does land in the bushes. And the bushes catch fire. That, oh, that yeah, and I put thing. my oil coins in there, too. But you I'm did stuck. put your oil coins in there, so it catches fire quick. Can I can I use my last movement to try to to try to get out of these bushes? Yeah, well, you, uh, yeah. Go ahead and make a, um... Actually, you're restrained, aren't you? I am restrained. <laughs> so, no, you can't. Oh, oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> so, you, <laughs> you threw your, uh, your javelin here... Uh, and your coins are mostly in front of you, yeah. as opposed to in front of the scale sorcerer. So the bushes catch fire. The bushes in front of you catch much more fire. Oh, boy. But it's... the bushes are on fire. All right, that's good <laughs> no. news. Yeah, <laughs> excellent news. Rot grubs turn. The rot grubs burrow under the skin. Woo! Nice! Go Rock Grubs! <laughs> I am just along for the ride at this point in time. It's now Bumbridge's turn. Bumbridge sees fire, knows Rock Grubs die with fire, and flies over <gasps> Krulax, and lands in the fire to kill the Rock Grub. Oh. But it's inside him. He's burrowed, right? Yeah. It's burrowed in his skin, but he's going to like try to burn uh. him out. Mm. Okay, he's gonna try. Yeah. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Um, and he's gonna land and gonna you try to. You had to set to, it on fire. You had to uh, set I it think on fire. Deborah actually, I think would be. <laughs> so he lands on the oily coins, and right in front of Deborah. Oh gosh. Bro. And hey, Bill. Is, hey, Billy. Well, first things first. Let's see if I get my breath weapon back. It re it recharges on a five and a six. I do not. Woo! On a five uh, or six, what did you have to roll? I rolled a d6. Gotcha. Uh, and now I'm going to just try to bite you, Deborah. <laughs> oh, God! 16 oh. to hit it's gonna, you. Oh. It's going to bite a rock monster? going to yes. break a goddamn tooth. Does 16 hit you, Deborah? Oh, yeah, my armor class is 11. Oh, rock <laughs> monster. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, oh, I'm going to deal mind. you uh, 11 piercing damage. And four mm -hmm. poison damage. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. 
Okay. As it's a dragon and it bites you. How we doing? I have two HP. Excellent. Good news. Oh, um, It's now Mike's turn. Mike was gathering a spell together to target Deborah, but now there's a wall of smoke and a dragon in front of Deborah, so Mike can't really target you. Krulax is kind of the only one it can see from where Sweet. it is. Sweet. Good. Quatch is, Quatch is too short. Oh, to be the hero. Uh, so, uh, Mike is gonna try to attack you. It's gonna, it's gonna sh- fire off some finger guns. It's gonna scorching ray you. Boo! Mm. Wow. A one, oh, no. a one, a five, and a 15. So the 15 plus four is a 19 to hit you. Uh, armor class 16. Wait, okay. how did you get to roll three dice? Cause scorching ray. Scorching Ray lets you roll, it's like advantage times two? Scorching Ray shoots three rays of fire. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, one of them hits. Yep, and so I will deal you three fire damage. All right. I rolled a one and a two on my 2d6. Ah! And after we didn't kill you. (laughs) You sons of bitches. You think, get the fuck out of here, you piece of shit. What? <laughs> We're gonna remedy the whole not killing you mistake in a minute. I've been around. Since we deal this... with this dragon. <laughs> Listen here, you little youngin. I've been around for eight months. I've seen eight moon cycles, and I know that I, you young whippersnappers, and your 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 TikToks and your garbage. You need to get the fuck out of my house or out of my my boss's house. Bumbridge the Ancient is going to be the end of you all. Oh shit, there's fire! <laughs> oh yeah. It, wait, is he on one of the fire spaces? Yeah. Oh. Where, where is the fire to, again? Can you show me? The fire is like in a 20, is in where the difficult terrain was. Oh, okay. So basically, not Quacha, not Debra. Or no, mm-hmm. sorry, not Quacha, but Debra, the dragon, and uh, the sorcerer. Okay. And did the dragon take any fire damage? Oh, the dragon definitely should have taken fire damage and ah. also rot grub damage. Yeah. Oh, yes, he did not take rot grub damage. <laughs> so he takes four rot grub damage and then Ooh. is going to take, Jesus, six fire damage. Woo! A four and a six on my D6s then, as opposed to fucking yeah. earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, he's looking pretty rough. Uh, so he kills the rot grub and then he's going to go back 15 feet up in the air again. Interesting. Uh, which means Deborah gets an attack of opportunity. All right, so I'm gonna going to opportunity strike with a uh, uh, little Debbie, my light hammer. Well, did Aww. you hit? Which is? Oh, I have to roll a you twenty. Roll You're a right. I gotta see if I hit. Uh, twelve does not hit. Does not hit. All right, goodbye, dragon. Dragon goes up in the sky. Um, that was Bumbridge's turn. <clears throat> oh no, that was Mike's turn. Mike shot the scorching rays. Now it's mm-hmm. Quatch's turn. Quacha is going to run back to the cart. Oh, Quacha, you you should just jump into the fire and save me. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's... I'm not going to... You seem like a nice person, but I'm not going to... What if What if you watered? Instead of having to rehydrate yourself, I'll spit on you later. <laughs> that is super kinky, and I'm not really that into it. But you know oh. what? Uh, we'll talk about it later. And I'm going to go now, though. <laughs> Batu is now under Falamir, face to face. What? Yeah, what, kiss. Face to face, what? Kiss. You can yeah, now him. kiss. Uh, yeah, but, uh, he, you know, I saw him from behind. So, you well, know. He's, he's sort of like spun. Oh, no. Oh, and he looks we're... at you and he says, who even are you? Oh, talk all you want. You are going the way far away, and I shall get paid. Oh, God. Where's that gag? Oh, God. Where's the gag? I will... I'll pay you double. I'll pay you triple. Just get... Just stop it, you know? What are you even doing with these people? Do you even like these people? (laughs) Uh, Have you seen the hairy one? I absolutely do not. (laughs) Why would you join them on their quest for mediocrity when you could join me on this quest for greatness? What are you even doing right now? 
I have told Think you already. Think about your life. It is not about the money. It is about the reputation of my bounty hunters guild. What reputation? What bounty hunters guild? <laughs> you don't uh, have uh, a bounty with, hunters guild. I Falamere. just start punching him in the face to get him to stop talking. <laughs> and that's his whole action. That's all he's gonna do. <laughs> You're not even a person. What are you even? Ouch! Oof! E. Bump, bump, bump. <laughs> Top of the round, okay. Kaizen. You're just beating him up. Do, you heard do, all that. Do I hear all this? I you, did hear all of right this. You're right there. You hear all that. Um, I I hear all of this, and so uh, can, I, can I punch Falomir? Sure. What, me? Why? Uh, cause you've been lying to us. Uh, okay. I'd like to punch. I, I'd like to punch Falomir. Great. Uh, make an okay. attack roll. At advantage because Falomir is prone on top of uh, Batu. <laughs> I know that there's this whole like dragon thing happening. Oh, good because I thought for a second that this maybe is, you forgot. This is priorities for me, and I don't like liars. This 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 halfling was lying to us, and, was and it not, wasn't a halfling. I was not lying about. I'm sorry. A delicious Are you? breakfast. The dragon talking to me right now? I'm Cause sorry, you were a you halfling ten minutes you, ago. You seem busy. I'll let you handle this liar first. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just heard from ba- from Batu's own mouth. What guild? You were lying about the guild the whole time. I wanna punch the lights out of you. Alright, I I rolled a thirteen. Uh Plus? I w- twenty. Twenty to hit you, Falomer. Does that hit? Uh, I don't get any, uh, roll against this, right? No, this is oh, just yeah. your armor class. Yeah, my armor class, I don't even know where it is, but I, I guess it's not 20. It's probably not 20. And she just punched me, so that's an unarmed she did. strike. Unarmed strike. Go ahead and deal your damage to Falomir. Ugh, I don't want to kill the guy, but, you know, I want to punish him. You can pull your punch oh, if yeah, you want to. It's Decide. a two plus five. Kaizen punches you, rabbit punches you in the back of the neck. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to get this guy. Why can you not fight the dragon right there? Why don't you Fal- fight the dragon? Someone else besides me fight the dragon. <laughs> Falomir, you're on top of Batu, who's just who's just outed you, or or is lying. One of the two. Um, and you're about to punch him in the in the face, and as you cock back, you get punched in the back of the head. And you see a few of those little like rainbow molecules, as as you feel a punch in the back of the back of the neck. Uh, since this guy is taking some damage right now, uh, I'm just going to uh, re put in his gag <clears throat> because again, his mouth is his biggest weapon here. Correct. Uh, so I'm re gagging him and attempting to now that he's taking more damage and I have him like down, actually yeah. try to tie his hands behind his back. I'll let you. I'll let you do all that. I'll let you okay. regag him, turn him over, get him in a rear naked choke, and and you know, or whatever you want to do, and put, tie his arms behind his back. That's fine. Yeah. Cool. All that's, all good to go. That would be your turn, though. That's my turn. Great. And you want to stay on top of him? Uh, he's still on the ground. No, I probably get uh unprone. Okay. Actually. Yeah. <clears throat> Standing, myself. you can like stand like with a foot on his back. Yeah, next. foot on his back, facing Kaizen. Okay. It's like, what are you doing? You need to learn your priorities. <clears throat> I can. You, if you have a problem with me, you can deal with it out of combat. Look at the giant dragon, and hopefully, you do not die this day. Mm. Speaking of the giant dragon, Krulax, mm. it's your turn. Can I move up closer to uh, Deborah? Yes. So, yeah. Perfect. You yeah, can now get I'm out right of, uh, next to Deborah. Actually, you can get next to Deborah without getting in the t- terrain with 20 feet of movement. Hey, uh, can you guys wrap up whatever you're doing over there? Because we're we're still fighting a dragon, and the the dragon has me very concerned. You know, because it's a dragon. <laughs> it's a not a dragon. dragon. It is more like a, a like a Drake or something. I'm. If we oh, survive no. this, we are having I, very serious talk. But anyway, okay, so I would like to, uh, I have my alchemist fire, and I know it could take fire damage, because I watched it get burned uh, when it landed in the fire. So I'd like to, because then it was a dragon, I didn't know at first, but I would like to whip my alchemist fire at it, my jar of alchemist fire. Make a ranged attack. What is your dick? Which is just, like, throwing something. All right. 
Oh dear, that's a seven. Plus, seven? uh, yeah. <laughs> plus? Plus, uh, w- what's my modifier on this? Dexterity? One? Probably dexterity. Eight. One. So eight? Yes. So you throw it Oof. up like one of those World War II grenades that are like long handled. <laughs> uh huh. Right? And it goes. And it like just sort of w- swings past one of the wings. Mm-hmm. And it explodes in front of Mike. Nice! Good! <laughs> yes, you're good. Ah, Let's go ahead and use more fire here bitch. in the forest. This is fucking hot! Why would you fucking. What? Is this alchemist's fire? Who throws alchemist's fire? Is you're fucking bullshit! You're fucking henchmen do. <laughs> also, good. Never in all, never in all of my. Never in all of my 200 days on this planet have I been so insulted. I can't fucking stand you people. Yes, we get it. You're very young. You're like eight, eight no, months I'm old. ancient. I've seen eight moon cycles. All right, this well. Is terribly old for a kobold. Time is different for you, yes, but you don't get a free pass because you cuss like a much older being. <laughs> anyway. I am a much older being, you son of a bitch. All right, uh... <laughs> So we did that. Uh, bonus, uh, actually, actually, I have a. Uh, well, I don't know. I have two-handed fighting. Can I still throw, try the whip axe again? Or? I will let you throw an axe. It's fifteen feet up, though, so you can't. Whip well, I, I, I threw my throwing my one throwing axe. So all I have left is the whip axe because that one well, actually comes back to me. You can throw it. Okay. Yeah. All right. And now here we go with the whip axe. Gonna give this one a try. You're wi- you're throwing the axe that has a whip on it, but you're not whipping it. Okay. Because uh, it's too far away for you to whip it. Oh, okay. Uh, well, that, it's another miss because it's another seven, uh, <laughs> and it missed well, last time. All right, so uh, <laughs> that one lands to... by your feet, though, so you can go like you can oh, try I, and pull I it because well, the whip is like long and and wiggly. So. Okay. So I can grab it back. I have action surge too. You can action surge. Okay, here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to grab my whip axe, and then I'd like to use my bonus action to run over to Quacha and be like, heal me, Quacha! Sure, I'll let you do that. Okay. <laughs> um, it's now uh, the lair actions. Um, <clears throat> and... Uh, Bumbridge is feeling very close to the edge of death, and so is going to sort of signal with its hands. Uh, A wall of tangled brush bristling with thorns springs to existence uh, from the ceiling uh, and drops around him, uh, just on the edge of where Deborah is, not on Deborah. Um, Now is the time to use the fire. Actually, you know what? Make a dexterity saving throw for me, Deborah. Uh, and that's a d20. Make a d20, and then add your dexterity saving throw. All right. Finding my dexterity saving throw very quick. Uh, 14 plus 115. 15's the number you needed. So the wall pushes you out of its area um, as it comes down, and you are met with, like, a dagger-sized thorn right in your face and so oh, like, God. um and so this is a giant wall of thicket thorns that has uh, surrounded the dragon uh these thorns are not on fire <clears throat> as of yet mm-hmm. but the rest of this difficult terrain is on fire mm-hmm. it is my turn okay i would like to um <clears throat> am i still stuck or is it on fire it's loosened enough that i can move a little I'll say that you can scoot your five feet out. Well, you got pushed, uh, okay. actually. You uh, got pushed, so you're actually out. Um, okay, so I would like to open my turn by first uh, using some of my uh, Kiog ointment, if I'm saying that right. Yep, Kiogum, I think so. Yes, and Go it is 2d8 plus two hit points, um, along with being cured of diseases, but that's how much I will heal. Excellent. So you take out your, your foundation and you put it on your skin. All right, so the your, first your D8 is a 6. The second D8 is a 3, so that's 11 plus 2. It's a total of 13 health. Perfect. You heal 13. So I'm now up to 15. <clears throat> um, is that my whole action, or can I also now no, attack? No, that's a bonus. I'll say that's a bonus action. Okay. Because uh, you're using so it on yourself. Have, doesn't seem too yeah. difficult. 
Yeah, I want to, if I have any more movement, I want to back up a little, um, throw another hundred oil cover coins uh -huh. um, at the base of this new thicket. And then I want to, uh, the whitest cone I can forward, yeah, I want to just well, light everything on you fire. You can actually catch Bumbridge in your f your burning hands. Yeah, it's a, it's let's a 15 do it. foot cone and you're 15, you're 10 feet away and it's 15 feet up. So you can catch Bumbridge in your cone. All right, <clears throat> we're doing it. So We're I catching Bumbridge a, in this cone. Nice. I need to make a dexterity save, right? Ooh, I fail. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Oh. Deal, deal your 3d6 of damage, I think, is what that is. 3d6. 3 plus 3 plus 1. 7. Deborah Mustard. <gasps> Describe for me. Bumbridge the Ancient. Bumbridge the Terrifying. Bumbridge the Terribles. <laughs> Grizzly demise. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> we did it! So Bumbridge the Terrible, hiding within his thicket, thinking he is safe, speaking in his weird, soft, sultry tone, talking about his bacon, never saw the flame coming towards him. Quickly, all the thickets were engulfed. All he saw was red and orange as flames burst through. First, the cut in his thigh, then the cut in his belly as it slowly filled him up as fire escaped through his mouth from these holes in him. He slowly ashed from the inside, but his scales being so strong left just to almost like a molt, a hardened, uh, a almost husk. like porcelain that's been baked. Yeah, a husk, a nice, that we could maybe one day turn it into armor if we could drag it along with us. Sure. But he is now <laughs> empty as if a, a snail or a hermit crab has left its shell. Nothing is inside. <clears throat> Perfect. And Bumbridge, oh. as he's up, or as he's up in his uh, his throne of thorns, he says, "Ah, oh, I feel safer up here, and I smell bacon." <laughs> and then <laughs> dies as he shrivels inside of his cage of thorns. Yeah, take yeah, that, that bum that, bitch! Nice it. work, Deborah. <laughs> he might have been ancient, but he was not very smart to put our thorns around As the smoke. Him. And the uh, mm -hmm. debris of the flames die down. You see that Mike has also been consumed by flames. Nice. Um, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you sons of bitches! <laughs> oh, Good. I no. didn't like that guy. That we have lost. I kind of like guy. that guy too. Yeah. I wanted to be friends with him. It's kind of funny. Um, yeah, guys. Sorry, I broke his feet. I think that's why he couldn't leave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you damn hammer! Like, you still want me to? Do the thing. I mean, yeah, I still hurt. I still got okay. attacked by a dragon. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna boop you, boop, and cure wounds. Sweet. Uh, you get seven hit points. Awesome. And I need a Constitution saving throw. Okay. Constitution. Because this is against poison. Okay, so one is a three, so that probably won't be the number we use unless I roll even worse. And one is a ten. Plus. Uh, plus. This is constitution, so yep. 10 plus 5, 15. Okay, you're good. You are not poisoned. Sweet. You have Batu bound and gagged. And there is a smoldering pile of thorny bushes. Uh, Got With smoke <clears throat> billowing out of the cave's front. Guys, we did it. We killed a dragon. Well, mostly me and Deborah. And well, and, and uh, Kaizen punched it. Kaizen punched it in the face. Valmir, you once again did nothing. I am actually very proud of this group. Uh, congratulations, taking down a dragon is no easy feat. Uh, good job, I will give uh, the credit where it is due. <laughs> oh, oh my God, now thank you. you're I didn't groveling. expect that, to be honest. You're groveling and saying thanks now. What about this guild? <clears throat> Bati literally said that you don't even have a guild. Tell uh, us the truth. Uh, do we want to have this conversation while there's still the fire embers in the forest around us? Uh, instead uh, of waiting for more enemies, perhaps we should get back on the road, no? I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. You're just delaying the conversation that's inevitable. You have nothing, do you? We actually probably should move away from the fire, though. We keep setting <laughs> everything on fire. and <laughs> uh, I don't know why. We did, we did this with the cemetery, too. We really have to leave. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I just feel like maybe someone in our group isn't doing the best they could. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> There's definitely man. a weak link in this group. Oh, and hold on, we think that. Okay, you want to have this conversation while the fire is right here around us as we put up a giant smoke cloud to all of our enemies that say, hey, here we are. Can you not see the giant uh -huh. smoke stack? Yes, let's have this conversation here. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you have to fight the big poison dragon by yourself while your yeah. indie <laughs> friend here decided to attack a man that was already on the ground? No, let's yell at me, the guy that immediately started to attack the necromancer who had got out of his bindings. And why, oh, why did he get out of bindings? Because your pet rock decided not to put his shackles on his hands. Mm. Oh, let's look at the logic here. Yes, then let's go ahead and get rid of me, the guy that put this team together, for I deserve to be yelled at. Because no one in the history of bounty hunting has put together a team of so many idiots. Uh -huh. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get in the wagon and get out of here, and uh, yeah, we'll, continue. We'll, we'll continue this conversation later, maybe with yeah, some so punching of felt. I pick up felt. the guy, and I throw him over my shoulder, and I put him in the back. <clears throat> uh, yep. Guys, once he's guys, in guys. The wagon yes, yes, yes. Can I do something really fucked up real quick? Oh, no. Sure. Just, uh, yeah, let's be honest. Yeah, I want to see some fucked up shit. Guys, and I'm gonna be honest. This is a uh, this is a warning to anyone here. I need one volunteer to help me. If this is too much, look away. I've got these oil coins. Listen, and this guy's magic happens with his mouth. So this is what's gonna happen. I need someone to hold him down. I actually need two people. Someone to hold him down, and some someone on a signal to remove his gag. But I'm taking these oil coins with my magic hand. I'm taking a handful of them, and I'm taking my mage hand, and I'm gonna dip it into the no, fire. No, no, no! I am going to have to stop you right there. Yeah, I do we need this guy alive. Oh, yeah, just oh, oh case Deborah! If he dies. We we Jesus we Christ. physically restrain Deborah. <laughs> Yeah, you don't. Chaotic neutral. I can't my eyes. his lips together. Is that too much? So <laughs> no, no, he again. No, he can die of infection. Yeah, no, plus not being able to eat until he gets there or drink could be a problem. I, I I like where your head's at. Trying to protect the group, but uh, we're gonna have to restrain you on this one, buddy. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're gonna, we're gonna, what are you trying to do? Me? Make me puke again? Excuse me. Um. <laughs> Uh, maybe we should, um, so, uh, I still have this recipe for how to become a necromancer. And yeah. one, one of the things is you needed a wormling's tail. Oh, okay. They don't <gasps> like, just, they don't just like drop out of the sky, you know? So like, maybe we should get that. Yeah, and, let's, like, let's grab oh, the wormling's yeah. tail. I like that. You know, and in fact... You all let, let's do a quick uh, search of the cave. This is a dragon's cave, so let's search for treasure. Yeah. Wait. Oh, that's a dope idea. Uh, I, yeah. I dragons hoard treasure. <clears throat> huh? While while they're trying to do that, uh, and he, he's moving in that direction, I am actually taking uh, the the foot cut uh, the the actual braces. The uh, yeah, the shackles. The shackles and putting them around this guy's hands behind his back. Thank you. Okay. Mm. Sounds good. Also, I, I grab uh, Falmir by the shoulder and take him to search with me because I don't really trust him. It's like, come on, Wait, we're no, going no, to I'm trying to put the shackles on it. Oh, God. Actually, uh, because he's taking me to the cave entrance, does that mean we are walking by the um, the cobalt that was burned alive? Yeah. Okay, as I see that, I throw up and pass out. <laughs> you find 230 silver pieces. Sweet. And... Uh, 120 gold. Sweet. Ooh. Uh, in addition, you also find the hat that Bumbridge removed at the beginning of the fight. Uh, it is a hat of disguise. You also find a robe made of many patches, patchwork robe. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a robe of useful items. You find 10 plus one arrows, which means that you add plus, when you shoot that arrow, you add one to your attack roll and one to your damage. Sweet. So I, I'm like, hey guys, I found some gold and some silver and some arrows. I got a hat of disguise here. You know, if anyone wants it, uh, I'm not really a stealthy guy. I'm yeah? a stealthy girl. I'm a, I am have plus seven stealth. Oh, you have plus seven stealth? Oh yeah, Kaizen. Kaizen, would you like this hat of disguise? Um, only if Deborah doesn't doesn't need it. I don't need it. I can disguise myself with magic. Oh, that, that's true. You have a thing. Okay, cool. So I give that to to Kaizen, and you know, I add the the gold and silver. Oh, and I guess uh, 
is Felomir's unconscious. I just like, well, you're the only archer, so I just slip the plus one arrows in his quiver, and I'll I'll tell him about those when I wake up. And I add the gold. We're carry. We, I add the gold to our stash in the carts Great. and the silver. And uh, yeah, I, I tell him about that. I'm like, and then I'm like, and how's the tail harvesting going? Um, you do indeed get a green dragon tail. Um, uh, which means that you can use it right now as a plus one whip. Ooh. Magic whip. Wow. Uh, it can be mastercrafted later into something else. You don't really know what. You'd have to take it to an expert. You also harvest four dragon claws. Um, these are magical daggers that deal an additional 1d8 poison on a hit. And they can be crafted into something else as well. You okay. also can get two dragon fangs. Uh, these are short swords that deal an extra 1d8 on a hit mm-hmm. with a 17. Well, that's a, that's but a I will say that you're also able to get three, eh, we'll say 13 green dragon scales. By okay. the way, you also find a full breakfast. You find a delicious uh, cast iron skillet <laughs> of bacon and fried tomatoes and coffee and some nice black tea. Pretty sure he said um, some of that was poison. <laughs> it I, is I poison, would just skip right? it, guys. I'm gonna be so mad if it was actually a good breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you pile into your uh, your wagon and set off. Um, you're able to travel the rest of the day down the mountain pass and on the horizon, past the foothills to the north, in the rising sun of the day, you see a city in the distance. Many hours later. You are able to arrive at the metropolis of Loris. Is there anything you want to do before you roll into town? What do we see? Perception check as we approach sure. the city. As you look over towards the city, go ahead and make perception checks. Trouble. It looks like there is a there are is a guard presence. There isn't exactly a checkpoint. Yeah, he's not um, checking people as they it's go It's not through. a walled city. Um, okay. It is not a militant city. It looks like a pretty thriving metropolis with lots of... Um, carts coming in and out. It looks like there are occasional customs officials looking in the back of the larger wagons like yours, um, but there's no, there's not a huge guard presence. You are starting to walk towards uh, the place where you think uh, the delivery for the bounty is going to be, and a haggard stranger approaches you. This appears to be a very, very short, maybe two feet tall, two and a half feet tall person. Um, in a very obvious fake mustache and glasses, um, and is essentially wearing, like, human child clothes, but it's very obviously not a human child. Mm. Oh, hoi hoi there! Are you Deborah Mustard? Who's asking? Oh, don't mind me, I'm just, uh, human humans be. Mm-hmm. Okay, human mm-hmm. humans be. I'm mm-hmm. Deborah oh, Mustard. I I heard tell um that that uh, you've been looking for the Mustard family jewel, yeah? Yes, mm. I have. I'd heard about that and I saw you across the way and it do, it's not often I see mustards amongst the fellow humans here. Mm-hmm. Um <laughs> So I thought I'd let you know that there there is plans afoot uh, for there to be uh, to put the mustard family jewel up for auction in the very near future. Where? Oh, I mean, uh, pretty far to the north, I would imagine. Up. You know, I don't have a compass on me, but I'm gonna give you five seconds to take off this disguise and show me who you really are. Or I'm gonna break oh. your feet. Oh, oh, don't, don't, you don't have to do that. And he'll remove the, the Groucho Marx glasses. Okay. Um, this is Edward Ketchup. Oh! <laughs> Edward Ketchup! Yeah, I look, I, I'm not trying to make a scene here, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm in a bit of a debt myself. I'm a bit of a tr- spot of trouble myself. 
and I'm not trying to, you know, stir up any trouble or nothing, but, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, the Mustard Family Jewel going up for auction pretty darn soon. Listen, Edward up Ketchup, the... I want to let you know that you and my family, we've got history, and I want to, I want my Mustard Family Jewel, and I will gladly look the other way. If you somehow have a connection and or have it in possession, I will pay you double the auction house. Oh. Not only do I have oh. a lot of money on me, but I'm about to get paid. So if you have it, tell me now and let's work out a I... deal or else I will murder you. Well, I guess you're going to have to murder me, I guess, as he turns out his inside out pockets. Having overheard this conversation, I'm going to... Turn to Deborah and be like, ah, um, yeah, I know you want the jewel and everything, but maybe no murdering people until we've turned in this bounty. You know, Look, we're in a city with guards right. and people that might not take kindly my, to murder happening my on My family the and your family, we go way back. We go together <sighs> like ketchup and mustard, after all. I know, and our family has been at war for 2,000 years, so you leave my sight right now, Edward Ketchup. All right, all right. Well, uh, good luck in trying to find your jewel, I suppose. And Thank he... you, and I hate your family's hospitality. He, he walks off like a like a human would. Uh, you do approach uh, a seedy tavern mm -hmm. called uh, the Mounted Goat, uh, and you know that this is where Andor typically works out of. Okay, this guy's You're got okay. his office in a tavern. I like him already. You can uh, walk in, and uh, the, bar, the barkeep says, "Oi, can I help you with anything?" Oh, uh, do we do we all walk in? You can do what you want. Um. <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, so I guess Kaizen and Falmir are heading in, and me and Debra are, uh, are guarding Batu. Great. So Kaizen and Falmir, <laughs> you walk in to the Mounted Goat, um, and there is a bartender wiping down the bar, um, and it seems like there is a, a party of a few individuals in the back corner at a booth. You can't see their faces. Uh, there's somebody passed out on the end of one of the bar, um, and that's what you see. Big selection of beers on tap, uh, and there's a huge mounted uh, giant goat's head on the wall in the middle of the, the bar back. Oi, can I get you anything to drink? Uh, you know, I do not need anything to drink right now, but if you can maybe take this one gold piece just to keep our presence a little quiet. Uh, where might we go if we had maybe a bounty to turn in for Andor? Ah, oh, oh, and he'll take the gold piece off the bar and bite it. I, if you're here for business, uh, I can uh, have that be arranged. Um, go ahead and uh, head on to the back there, and I'll, uh, I'll make sure that the door gets open for you. We oui, thank you so much. Um, was that and as you as you go as you start walking, he pulls on the giant goat's head's beard, mm. uh, and a passageway <laughs> opens uh, next to the bar, bef just before the bathrooms. As you're walking to the back, you pass a table of four strangers, um, and one of them uh, looks up at you, Falomer, and puts his hand out. And says, hey there, friend. What name you going by these days? Oh, shit. Go ahead and roll... <laughs> go ahead and roll insight for I me. I fucking knew it! And of course I have... Of all the people in the party, I've got Kaizen here. <laughs> uh, that's a 13 plus insight bonus, which I think is just two or something, maybe three. Yeah. You recognize him. Oh, plus zero. It's just 13. This is part of your former friends, let's say. How's it going? Um, what name are you going by these days? Ah, uh, Davy. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Ah, uh, well, give me the trouble. It's go. Cool. How long has it been? It's well, been like it's uh, been long enough that I was called Davy. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> are, you still, are you still going by Steve? No, 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 Steve. <laughs> I had to, I had to drop that alias. I've been nice and clean. I've actually made a good name for myself. Uh, I am Falamir, you know. As, Falamir. As you, yeah, you know, as as you know from my childhood name. Uh, yes, I started the Bounty Hunters Guild just uh, west of here. Uh, Child, up in up. childhood name. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, oh good to see you. Oh, you look a little drunk. Oh, I this guy, he be drinking. Stevie, I thought Stevie was your name. I thought you were Lord Cornelius for a while, actually. Uh, 
Oh, uh, but now I'm not so sure. And Falomer. Falomer is an interesting name. You know, if it occurs to me, we robbed a bank called Falomer. Hey, hey guys, if you want to head in the back and, uh, you know, meet Andor for me, I no, will just No, no, no. Uh, I think that you should uh, just hang out for a second. Uh, I'd Missy, love you don't, to hang out. You don't need to be a part of this. You can just run along. Oh, you're yes, talking sir. to me? Yeah, you can get out of here. This is business. Oh, no. This is business for the gentleman to talk about. No, that's all right. My two fists will um, stay here. And um, I'd love to know a little bit more about <laughs> Stevie, Davey. As yeah, Stevie, that sounds like such a fake from? name. <laughs> I mean, I mean, do you want to do you want to tell her or should I? I don't want to lie to the lady. Oh, why don't you go ahead and tell? I have nothing to keep from my acquaintances. Uh, you know, we did a couple jobs a few years back. Uh, you know. And we you had are... some good business. We did have some good business. That is had true. Some good business, and uh, I don't know if you are to... trying to uh, paint me in any shady picture. Uh, Listen, but I am... we're all shady people here. Exactly. So that is. Goat. That is that, and I am now am running a bounty hunters guild. So if you have something shady to say, no, let me tell you. Listen, you I've got no problems. In fact, if you're starting a bounty hunters guild, I'm sure Andor would love to hear about it. I think he would actually. Are you working with Andor now? Look at you moving up in the rocks. Huh? I mean, I'm doing a couple a couple jobs here and there. Ah, uh, not know, too good. Keeping then. an eye out for bounties. Ah, um, if only you were like me, you'd be bringing in the best bounty. <laughs> if only well, you were stuck with me. I've heard of a couple of bounties. A couple of bounties from uh, Corin Ra couple of bounties from the Empire of Targus. I cannot say that I've been in those pots. Uh, uh, I've also got a I've also got a couple bounties I've heard of from Ral Darren Combine from the oh. old from the old Point Berake office. Hmm. Ah, yes. Might, uh, oh, it must be fascinating for you. I'm glad that you're getting around. Uh, well, good luck on your quests. I don't feel like there is much for us to talk about. Of course, but, uh, of course. Good luck, good you know luck. what? Go down and have your meeting with Andor, and uh, we'll be up here when you get back. How's that sound? Okay, yeah. It's not, not a problem. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. Good to see you. Oh, yes. Been always. A long time. Always a pleasure. Always. <laughs> good, good to see you. Uh, we take a few steps away. Hey, uh, Kai Zippen, uh, you know this guy is talking about the places that you guys are from. Is there a bounty that we need to be worried about here? Do you need to go let uh, Cruel Sword know what is going on? If I'm going to go let him, let him know, you're coming with me. We're not separating at this I, point. I, are, you, are you kidding me? They are waiting for us over here in the back room. You do not make these people wait. Trust me when I tell you. They're oh, coming with... Outside, uh, and we're letting the crew know. Oh, but uh, this, uh, this is the way I need to go. Okay, hurry up. Let's go really quick. As you walk back towards the entrance, the bartender puts the goat's mouth back up, and the door closes <sighs> and is like, we'll, we'll get to that. And you can walk back outside. Now, look at you guys here. Uh, how is our bounty back there? Is he still alive? Or has he been set on fire and lost all of his feet as well? No. Uh, everything's uh, no, good no, out no, here. Still there. We have... Yeah. Okay, Krulax, How, how'd your meeting with Andor Deborah, go? Debra, this is this is interesting. All right, so so far what we've got is uh, the man before us is not Falomir. He's Stevie, A.K.A. Lord Cornelius, A.K.A. Falomir is a bank that was uh, robbed, and then the name was then taken by this man you see. But worse off. Stevie's friend Davy has it out for all of us. He wants uh, a he wants the bounty on all of our heads. Yeah, oh, uh, there's a there's a bounty hunter in there that knows about our bounties. Ah, uh, yes, it looks like you traveling fools. Your name has gotten uh, pretty far from where you started. All right. Well, listen. We, then we got to do this fast. All right. Look, there's uh, there was just one of them. Oh, there was a group saw? of there was a group of four of them, but if we cause a ruckus, who knows what kind of trouble we might get in? Look, well, look, there's four cool of them. Legs. If you put on four the hat of, of disguise, and I self disguise, and we both disguise ourselves as some busty tavern wenches, we can distract them. They can go turn in the bounty, and then we'll we'll leave. 
Uh, finally, a plan I can get behind. Wait, what? what? I, okay. I hand uh, uh, Krulax my hat of disguise. The door is like open to the mounted goat. And you can see that they're just watching you guys talk. So do we want to go in together all together or do we want to do the tavern wench thing? We can go in all together, but um, uh, I- Two of us disguised as tavern wenches? Yeah, or yeah, we can both wenches. be disguised as Falomir and- yes. uh, or uh, and, and very quietly, very quietly. I'm like, as Kaizen said, maybe oh, we should go around wait, the or corner. We could, or we could have two, two we, are you thinking two Kaizens and two Falomirs? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking is that we just look like them and we come in right after they go in. Wouldn't that cause a lot of that uh, would cause suspicion? so much? They're, that's a, yeah. yeah. They're like, there's what happened to the barmaids? Go give the give the dwarf the big boobs. That'll be fine. Or, All right, so now or, the fact they could, that or they could go in there and then and then cause a ruckus and get them out of the oh. bar and then real Falamir and real Kaizen Ooh. we can walk in with our bounties. I am okay with that. And that is up to uh, the two yeah, of these let's guys do here. It. Because <laughs> <make a laughs> if you could if you could run if you could run around the corner and then like take the disguises off, they will run right past you and not think the most. Okay. Is this the plan we want to go with? So Th this is the plan. Go pick a fight. <laughs> okay, so uh, we go into the wagon out of view of... There's people at the entrance yeah, uh, but, looking at us, right? Well, yeah, they but aren't keep it, at the entrance. They're just looking through yeah. the door. Yeah, they're, okay, still so they're, they're still in the bar. So uh, we, we all go inside the wagon, uh, you know, out yeah. of view of them. Yep. And... Uh, now, remember, whoever that is going to be me, I think it should probably be Kulax. Uh, you're, it is only a disguise of appearance. You are going to have to talk like me, too. You have to have this accent. Wee oui, wee, oui. yes. <laughs> I feel, uh, I, of course. You know, no, 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 say, say after me. Say, say, uh, say this, say this. Ready? Ready? I. I. Am. Am. Felamir. Felamir. No, Felamir. 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 All right, enough of this. <laughs> Let's just go do the thing. <laughs> so I disguise myself as Felamir using the hat. Okay. And, uh,. And, uh, and Deborah, you're going to disguise yourself as... Kaizen. Kaizen? Uh, yes, Kaizen, uh, but in a little bit of a busty maid dress. Mm. <laughs> cool. Sorry, Kaizen. <laughs> <laughs> and then we go, we go back in to resume the meeting. And the they, two, those, the two of you? The, other, the real two stay out of sight. Cool. We're still in the wagon until we hear oh, them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. So we walk up to the front and yep. I say... Oh, oi, oui, oui, ah, you all here at this bar, you smell of the, the piss and the... What is your deal, man? Spoiled drinks. Why, what? Oui, oui. What, what is happening with you? I you take out my, my short dagger, I take out my tiny dagger, and I stab right through Davy's hand into the table. <laughs> ah! What the fuck, man? Sorry, I was trying to play a game, I missed. <laughs> Make a deception oh, hoy, check. Oui, oui. Ah, oh, you scream like a little bitch. Deception check. I rolled an 11. Uh, he does not buy that you were trying to play a game. <laughs> listen. Shocking. we can Listen, listen. Do you guys want to fucking go? I mean, we can go. It's just we got to do it downstairs. We can't do it up, up in the up in the bar. It's Andor's, it's Andor's rules. But I will fucking kill you. <laughs> you just need to chill the fuck out, idiot. What? We 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 don't want to chill out. We Steve. want to we want to go. Yes. What in is fact, this even, fucking accent? It's even different. Than, it's than even outside. different than the first time you came in. Like I we, don't even. Yes. How do you? How uh, are you so bad? You should not as bad as your breath. <laughs> oh, oi, oi. This yes, is the, follow us oh, outside and we will fight you out there. No, I'm not going outside. We're either oh, okay. going downstairs or I'm going to keep drinking. I make my mage well, hand appear and I take my mage hand and I punch him in the dick under the table. <laughs> <laughs> did, did one of you guys gonna come outside? Me junk, man? Hey, come outside and maybe I'll tell you. Fucking fine, man. Jesus. And they will get up and, like, adjust their dusters and go outside and be like, all right, fine. We're fucking outside. You want to fight? And then we take off sprinting down the alley. <laughs> yeah, we run away as fast as we can. 
Yeah, we would like to get like down an alley and like turn a corner maybe behind the bar and then take yeah. off our disguises if we can. Okay. You um make a make a decep make deception checks. Okay, that is a 16. Okay. 10. Plus my deception is Oh shit, minus 1, 15. <laughs> my <laughs> well, well, I, Oh, plus 3, I so not I have roll 13. Well. Yeah, I did not roll well on my perception. So they're like, what the fuck? And they like walk around the corner and they see you two and they say, hey, did you see like two fucking idiots? One of them yeah. with like a stupid weird at like uh, accent where it's like he's got like peanut butter on the roof of his mouth. And well, then I mean, a woman with like hand wraps, but also like a busty maid dress. Yeah, actually, we saw two people that look exactly like that. Uh, they sprinted out that way, and they took a right, uh, right onto the main street there. Do you want to show uh, you? The guy show you. No, it's fine. We'll just go after him. Thank you. Okay, and yeah. And they'll and they'll go off in that direction. How okay. is the stupidest plan we've ever had? The one. Yeah, that was, that was great. <laughs> and now we would like to re rejoin our compatriots. Cool. At uh, the front. And by this time, we've uh, cause we heard them walk around, and so I think we've we've already gotten uh, um, Bantu like out, and we're like ready yep. to move him inside the bar. Cool. Ah, that looks like a bounty for collection there. I'll uh, I'll ring down to An I've already ringed down to Andor. He knows you're on your way. Um, <laughs> and you walk through a uh, a portal that has opened in the back of this bar, um, and it opens into a very old stone spiral staircase that descends mm. uh, a few stories uh, down into the earth. And as you uh, descend, it takes you to a hallway that has braziers that are lit. Um, nice, beautiful stonework. Um, big columns, large blocks, lovely hewn. Um, and you you walk down about a 50 foot length of hallway after going down about three stories, uh, and you can hear laughter and uh, a bit of jovial um, activity. It sounds a bit like an underground casino down here. Um, you hear the telltale noise of um, the magical. Um, slot machines and roulette tables. You can hear people cheering on for the lizard races, um, card games, and as you emerge, you see, as I share the screen finally, mm -hmm. a huge, large area cool. as you emerge up here in, wow. in this sort of... Uh, this sort of vicinity up here. That's so awesome. I'll, I'll put your minis up here. I love this map piece so yeah, much. Yeah, that is very cool. So cool. So there's a couple okay. of um, what appear to be fake treasure chests just sort of sitting in the middle of the rooms with velvet mm. ropes around them. And they say, do not touch. Big, big signs that say, do not touch uh, around the, the chests. Um, there's, well, now I want to touch them. There's <laughs> dozens of people just gambling and drinking. There's a karaoke bar. Um, you know, there's a there's tons of activity. How many down here. Uh, How many patrons would you say are in here? Ah, uh, thirty. Okay. Um, there are humans. There are elves. There are lots and lots and lots of different types of people. Okay. And uh, approaching you. Uh, at the as you come down, are you gonna walk down the stairs? Sure. Uh, yeah. yeah, keeping an eye out for because uh, I've never met Andor before. Yes. Uh, so I'm looking for someone that looks like the guy in charge. Well, he is. He does not make himself hard to be spotted as yeah. Andor, um, a very good-looking, well-built. Uh, maybe six foot three, long, light blonde hair down to the shoulders, um, wearing um, finery, um, and he's got uh, a instrument slung on his back. Looks like a uh, a lute or a um, a hurdy gurdy or something along those lines slung onto his back, and he says, "Ah, you have a delivery for me." 
Ah, I presume you are the magnificent Andor I have heard so much about. Yes, I might have something Absolutely. for you. Absolutely. I am Andor. Welcome to my <laughs> humble abode. This is, uh, well, this is uh, a little bit of my operation. And, uh, well, I see that you're a little bit of my operation as well. Ah, uh, yes. And uh, this is my group of bounty hunters in my ah, guild. And, and, uh, and who are you and who are your friends here? Ah, you may have heard of me. I am Felomir. I run a little uh, Bounty Hunters Guild southwards of here. But, you know, you are in our, our distance. We come to you mm. with a great prize. Uh, but Felomir. here we have... Yes, so uh, here we have the Warrior of Warriors. The uh, axe-wielding cruel axe himself. Hi, and, uh, nice to meet you. And uh, deadlier than the way she looks from Milford Forest is uh, Kaizen. She looks pretty deadly to begin with, though. Well, and nice try not to both. get in the way of her fist. And he will and wink at you when he says that. Oh. <laughs> I like how he winks oh. at at, Val, at, uh, at Kaizen, but it's Krulax that blushes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, he's very handsome. <laughs> he'll, give, he'll, give, he'll give the up and down to Krulax as well. <laughs> and okay. then uh, this little pet rock here is actually, do not second guess this, this is the dragon slayer himself, Deborah Mustard. Mm. I kill dragons, I break feet. That's that is, actually two that things that I have good, seen you do. That is a good resume. I am. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Um, and, uh, Falamere, was it? Falamere, um, yes, yes. It's Falamere, but you say as you wish. Uh, and then under this hood here is one yes. of your bounties. Show, but, me, show me what you've got. Uh, should we maybe do it in a little more discreet of an area? Sure, we can good? walk over to my uh, private office if you'd like. Uh, yes. Uh, and he will lead you past the gaming tables uh, and to a conference room, essentially. Nandor says, well... I love gifts. I just love gifts. And I also like exchanging goods for currency. That, that is what we are here to do. Uh, gifts, uh, not to say too much. Uh, well, to me, it's a gift. It's a gift to work with such able-bodied individuals. Well, let me rephrase. How able-bodied are you? Well, who is under this, uh, this sack here? Ah, uh, cruel axe. Will you give the pleasure? Yeah, absolutely. I uh, I pull the sack off his head. It's like ah, Batu the necromancer, as uh, as requested. Uh, Batu, huh? Nice. Yes, yeah. I like that. That's good. That's good. How you doing, Batu? Oh, you got cat got your tongue there. That's too bad. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Most of his uh, trickery is with his mouth, as we have seen. That's not a euphemism. And <laughs> Jesus, I think that uh, you know. I think we we did have a bounty out for for this one. Yes, indeed. I see. Well, let me see here. One, two, three, four. I see four bounties. Which ones are you collecting? What if I said all of them? Oh, fuck you, Stevie. <laughs> I would like to hit him with an axe. <laughs> sure. Uh, 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 as I see him go for his weapon, um, I, I, I mention, Andor, uh, you might want to know that uh, who you have here are great big bounties. I have brought I in one bounty for you. I use my command on to Falamir, and I command him to fall asleep. I say sleep before he can speak. Make a wisdom saving throw. Uh -oh. Nice. I'm not a wise individual. Um, I'm gonna be very <laughs> honest. Also, uh, I have decided to make these character decisions about ten seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> I love so, it. Perfect. I don't know if I'm fucking anything up. Uh, okay, we'll just kill you. This is Dungeons and Dragons, man. Uh, wisdom. Where's wisdom? Oh, it's up top. I think. Right? Yeah. Okay. It's plus zero. So I am rolling. I have. Oh uh, boy. Hold you five. really do play Dungeons and Dragons like you play Secret Hitler. <laughs> uh, I you rolled a five. Shooting yourself in the five. Game. Yeah. Uh, uh, sounds like you're asleep. <laughs> yep. Nice. <laughs> for for six seconds because this was command as opposed to sleep. Okay. So give well, us a. Well. So we'll we'll so you sort of collapse into a pile for a moment, and uh, Andor says, "Oh, thank oh, goodness! Wait, 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 just wait, give wait, me wait, just wait. a moment." Um, I, of course, am not looking. You're bringing in bounties. 
if someone else brings you in at some other points, that then that's on them. But yeah. uh, also, we're totally willing to give you this guy. We heard he robbed a bank. We're not sure if anything's outstanding, but <laughs> no, we'll no, totally no, get fine. at this point. We'll totally we're, get rid of him. I'm not interested in the paltry sum that you oh, people right. are going for. <laughs> All right. Um, they're, they're like mostly that was we're mad that they you know stole a cow or pushed over a wagon or something, but this this Batu this is yeah. a big bounty and uh, is he awake yet? yet? <laughs> yeah, is he is he awake yet? Can we can we put? I'd like to put my foot on his throat on the back of his Jesus. neck to keep him pinned down. Yeah, uh, strength check. Sure. <laughs> All right. Roll strength. Yes, yeah. yeah, strength. Not a lot, but I rolled a fifteen. <laughs> Uh, roll at disadvantage because you're prone. Ah, that's a two. Okay, eighteen. Yeah, you're you're able to keep him down, um, mm -hmm. but he can still talk from down there. Okay. Uh, look, uh, I'm not trying to get in the middle of your marital squabbles. I get that <laughs> that bounty hunters are individuals, and when they come together to work together, it can be difficult. What? What are you? Uh, get off my door! I I was not. No, ah. you just tried to turn us in. You shut up or I'll turn you in. No, you don't, that is, those you don't are not have the... to argue like this in front of the kids. It's all right. We're gonna get <laughs> through this together. I've I've had to work with folks just like you before. Now this Batu character, how you doing there, Batu? And Batu is still like struggling against the the bonds. I really am looking forward to working with you, Batu. I'm really looking forward. And he's gonna snap his finger and a ogre. A full ogre <laughs> with a name tag that says org, O R G G on it. Mm -hmm. uh, th thump, thump, thump. Yes, boss. Uh, go ahead and put Batu in uh, three. Put him in three for me. Yes, boss. Picks up Batu with one hand and just drags him, drags him away. <laughs> Uh, now, again, I don't want to get in the way of your marital squabbles, but a deal is a deal. Now, let me check yeah. my big board here. Let me, uh, can I, can I do another wiggle check to get out? Go ahead. Now that you're under, you can make dexterity at disadvantage. Right. And right, uh, the strength can stay at 18. Uh, well, that's a six. That's not going to do me much yeah. good. <laughs> a little bit higher. Aha, 17 plus three. So 20? Why uh, did he get to roll two? Wait, I said uh, disadvantage. Oh, disadvantage. All right, then it was the six. Never mind. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. Yeah, you're okay. Right, you're right. You're so right. Andor turns around and says, shush, you be quiet. Uh, he's going to okay. check his big board. <laughs> um, and behind him, scrawled on one of those beautiful blocks, are names. A huge list of names. And next to them are a bunch of numbers. Go ahead and make perception checks for me. Do I see anything from down here? <laughs> Go ahead. You can make perception at disadvantage because you're on I the have, floor. Actually, no. Rolled Actually, just make a regular perception check. You can go ahead and do that. It, oh, I, it was a 20. Okay. I rolled a 2 for perception. Yep, so. you, you can't read. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> it makes sense. In keeping total. with the Krulax is illiterate theme. 14? Like, 14 total, yeah. Cool. I got a 10. Deborah? Okay. Um... Krulax, you don't see, you just see like shapes and numbers and yeah, garbage. I see. Mm, I see you have many of the letters and words. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I know these uh, letters and words, but let's not test that. You rolled like a 20? Uh, yeah. Okay. But you I'll can see ground. a couple of names that are of interest to you. Uh, you see uh, Deborah Mustard, you see Krulax, and you see Kaizen. V, written down. Uh, each of them have a bounty of 300 gold pieces. <laughs> That's it? You guys should be ashamed That's of yourselves. Well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I, I have noticed from way down here that there is a bounty for... Uh, uh, if, if, if one was <clears throat> to uh, pay for the, uh, the gold for one of those bounties, would their names disappear off of that list? Oh, I would erase them, yeah. Uh, you know, if, uh, if Krulax would, uh, let his, uh, foot off my neck, I might have something very positive for him to hear. But, why would I do that, though? Uh, okay, 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 Andor, Andor, I, uh, you can take 900 from my cut and, uh, maybe, uh, take off the names that we see here in the room, you know? Oh, that's, uh, that's very nice of you. 
I know. I am trying to say, can if you let me explain, I'm not trying to turn you in. I'm saying here, we are going to turn. He said he had four contracts. I'm going to turn them all in because I am here to make a big name for ourselves. We are part of a good bounty hunters guild. I was not going to try to turn you in before this little rock monster put me to sleep. <laughs> sure. Let's you uh. Dirty. So let's do that. Yeah, uh, listen, Andor, so we'd like to turn in Batu here. Yeah. And uh, 900 out of uh, out of yep. this guy's cut will go to erasing our bounties. And uh, and yeah, let's, let's Works make for this me. transaction. Here's, let's make this here deal. Is the, uh, here's the bounty up here. And he points, and there's a in larger print, B-A-A-T-U dash 6, 900. Whoo! <laughs> Sweet! Oh, you just have that name there for everyone to see, uh, that number there for everyone to see? Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. the bounty okay. hunt, this is the bounty room. Yeah, what, why would I not have it written down I'm on the not, big board? You know, maybe I should have come in by myself, but that is fine. <laughs> well, uh, that is an excellent, excellent bounty, and uh, he takes a piece of eraser and erases that one off the board and looks around and says, and I'm taking uh, three, 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 and I'm going to take an extra hundred just to forget about those because I have clients. So we'll make that 59, I think, is what we're going to do. And he'll erase those. All right. All right. And you, sir, uh, Falomir? I don't think I have any Falomir, but I do have uh, this name here. Uh, Stevie? <laughs> uh, is this someone you'd like me to hunt down for you? Um... As well, you can see, I bring in uh, a lot of business. Yeah, this is uh, this is a, a bit of a vagabond roustabout who sometimes uh, a little bit nefarious does some good work though. Recently brought in a very big bounty. Um, yeah, how much for Stevie? For Stevie, Stevie, this Stevie character that has the bounty here recently mm. brought in a very big bounty. Very recently, as a matter of fact. <laughs> ah, um, like just now. You know, maybe, <laughs> maybe you find this Stevie, and uh, if you want to pay their bounty as well. Oh, do I want to do that? I don't know. He brought in for such a big. He might make more sense for you to employ him more often. I'm just saying. How much? How understand. much is Stevie's bounty? Uh. There are question marks next to Stevie. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is this is a pending bounty because we don't know all of the aliases yet. Oh, interesting. Well, you know, uh, Salomir, I think um, I think that we could turn in Stevie, but uh, uh, if you didn't want us to turn in Stevie, I think that you should give uh, your cut uh, to uh, Quacha. Uh, but I do not want that frog creature around. I say we go. Uh, I. I what what, uh, what yes Concha yes. yeah I just I was just curious um I noticed under Batu that you had a note written it says uh in a uh, 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 ritual list um I have that can I just get paid for that and Andor's like oh you have the recipe yeah I'll just pay you for the recipe. Oh, look uh, at that win-win! Ha, ha, ha! And All then, right. And then Quatch is like, yeah, I mean, here here you go. Here's the here's the paper. And Andor is like, well, cool, great. That saves me a lot of trouble trying to get it out of out of Batu's brain. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I'll just pay you the 6000 for that, and you can be on your way. Whoa, 6000 on top of the bounty? And Quatch is just like, 6000 on top of the bounty? <laughs> And 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 uh, Andor's like, yeah. I mean, I needed the I needed the the ritual. Ah, uh, Quancha was a means to an end. I just need I need the ritual. Yeah, Quancha. Yeah, my best bounty hunter. Been with me since the very beginning. All don't, right, don't I'll just you, be. Don't I'll just be you, taking. I'm rich now. I get I'll to retire. I'll to just my take my swamp. cut. No, I get to never cut. have to do this ever again. <laughs> All right, good. I don't All right, well, do I guess this. we have the money, so. Thanks, Andor. Uh, enjoy Batu here, and uh, we're just gonna we're gonna be on our way. Sound. If you ever need to pick up another bounty, we are right here. If you're looking for work, oh, cool. uh, yes. lots of bounties on the board. I will have uh, you know my bounty hunters guild. Uh, you know we do so much work. Maybe uh, I what will make sure name? more. Of my... What is the name of your um, 
your group, by the way, the four of you, your guild, the Bounty Hunters Guild. Oh, no, see, these guys, these are just some of my best Bounty Hunters. They, uh, I mean, ah. uh, they, 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 it's not just us. No, 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 no I see, definitely. I see, I see. No, what, um, what do you call your big institution, your your overall overarching group? Uh, yes, uh, the, uh, the, uh, you know, the, the, my guild, yes. A lot of people wondered what a guild is, uh, and I, I'm looking around. Uh, Branding uh, is important, after Yes, all. Uh, you know, it's, it's called uh, door, door, door Sign. You know, you may have heard of us, Door Sign. Yes. <laughs> door the Guild sign. of Door Sign. Door and he sign. looks behind him, and he sees a door and a sign. He's like, Door Sign. That is yeah, a clever name. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, door it's, Sign it's, Bounty it's, Hunters. I am going to write that down. And I am going to call on the door sign bounty hunters very uh, soon. Yeah, you, <laughs> you know how to find me. <laughs> I certainly hope that the door sign bounty hunters are prepared to once again take to their, their adventure. I hope that you all have a lovely time at Andor's Casino and Bounty Hunting Services, Bail Bonds and quick and lube and you have an excellent day this has been uh, lovely uh the 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 um uh the bankers will pay you at the cage on the way out um and you know what here's uh here's some free drink tokens on me on your way oh, out shit. Don't hey, worry. This is great. Yeah, I like oh, business come here on, come on back and any any time to andor's as- as we're walking away, I'd like to put my hand on uh, on over Falamir's shoulder and say, "So, Stevie, how about we renegotiate our cut before uh, we hand you know, over to Andor?" You know that is funny that you keep saying that. That is not my name. I'm Falamir, and uh, you know we have just accomplished a great bounty for this bounty hunters guild of ours. Do you know how much more work is going to come in for us around this entire continent? Uh, maybe uh, we just toss a lot more work your way. Make friends with uh, Fatima. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You'll toss work our way uh, yeah. from the Door Sign Guild. Uh, <laughs> that, clearly yeah. existed, that clearly existed for a long time uh-huh. before you looked at the Door Sign and okay, decided to okay. answer that question. So, yes, yes. I, I am uh, new to the business, but after a, a bust like this, there's going to be so much business coming in. So I must thank you guys so much. Cruel Axe and Kaizen, you shall receive 2,000 gold pieces. And, you know, you are not starting with a, with a clean slate, at least here. And these bounty hunters, they will not be looking for you no more. So if you would like to work with me again, you know, you can always find me in Calden. Uh, So that's not happening. What will happen is we are going to divide it equally amongst ourselves except your minus 900 for paying off our bounties mm-hmm. uh, which uh, which we will take me. as penalty for trying to betray us you have no say in this uh, yes i have all the say i've got the slip here Hoo-hoo, and i put it in my pants okay uh, we forcibly take the slip away ah, this guy they are trying to touch me inappropriately someone help please. yeah the the security is going <laughs> to uh, prevent you from accosting someone else in the casino uh, in the main hall of the casino as I was saying, thank you, fine gentlemen. They do push forward 5,900 gold pieces in mm. poker chip racks, and they start stacking them on the table uh, in yes. front of you. No. Uh, Quacha, meanwhile, is like wheeling out a cart that's as big as they are, mm. uh, it, or like wheeling it over to the security and is like, yeah, you can just deliver it to this address. Um <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it was great. Oh, hey, it was great working with you all. Bye Bye, forever. Okay, Uh, if you want to work together, all right. If you Uh, ever need me, I'll be in the Wasteland Swamps. Wait, actually, how much did he say? 2,000 each of us? There were 69. So then we get 6,000 of it. There's 59. No, we, there's 59 because I took the extra 100 to to remove your bounties for each other. Yeah, and as I was saying, yes, the total was 69, but I, as the leader of this operation that is running the Bounty Hunters Guild, I get a slight thing more, but look at this now. No, you don't. No, <laughs> yes, you I do. Don't. Oh, 100%. Because you betrayed us and we will kill you. How do That's you fine. think We're I did not, not betray be you? I did not. Forever. When did you know I betray you? Know you? How about this? You, know you can what? hold should on to all the money. Should we just turn it around? Yeah, let's walk we out the front just, door. We just... Yeah, yeah, so we let him take all the money, but we put our hands on his shoulders and we walk him out nope, the front No, I've not, I've got guards, I need help! And as you push him out the front door, you are paid on the way out. You have 5,900 uh. gold in your pockets. Um, you have turned in the bounty. 
um, of Batu, the wannabe necromancer. You've made a very powerful ally in Andor, the casino-owning warlord. And that's where we're going to call it. I th but you've, you've collected your bounty, you've uh, achieved your mission, and should we reconvene together as this group, as a loving family, uh -huh. we would be leveling up to level three. Hey. Wow. And starting so, off jumping Joven for 5,900 gold. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that and, would be the uh, first thing. And you'll have would to receive a reduced cut because we would all beat him up. <laughs> yep. And that's all up to y'all. Um, and the end, the end credits stinger is uh, Quacha sipping on a mai tai, feet up on a <sighs> on a beach chair in front of a swamp, wearing sunglasses. Aww. This is the life. Nice. All right. Uh, thank. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Please check out Mari, Jovenshire, Noah, and of course our DM, Ruben. There'll be links to all their stuff in the description below. Thank you very much, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Me? Bye. Wait, wait, it is me. Peace, peace, peace. Hey, everyone, Krulax here. Thanks for watching. That's the end of, uh, let's, let's call it the season. Uh, there will be more at some point, eventually. I, I just don't know when. So next week, no new episode. The, the season's over. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to watch all of our D&D adventures, you can go ahead and click on this playlist right over, let's say here. And if you would rather see a game like, I don't know, Ghost Castle, uh, that'll be over here. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is all in uh, podcast form as well. Link to that in the description. And see you all next time. Bye-bye.